In this video, I want to take a look at transformations of graphs. Now, I like to break this down into two parts. I like to think of this by translations and by stretches. So to begin with, let's take a look at translations. So two different examples here to begin with. If we start with this one here at the top, then what this is, is y equals f of x plus a. Okay. Now what this is, this is a translation of the graph y equals f of x. So translation. of y equals f of x by the vector 0, a. Okay. So obviously, if my new curve has moved up like this blue one here represents, then we've moved a units up. Okay. If the curve was coming down, so it was down here, then we've moved a units down. Okay. And that would be 0 minus a. Okay. So that you can see here, if I call this black curve y equals f of x, then this blue curve here, if I just do that in blue, would be y equals f of x plus a there. Okay, we've moved a units up. Okay, so that's the first example. So let's take a look at the next translation here. And this is something of the form y equals f of x plus a. Okay, and that's all in one bracket. And again, this is a translation. So this is a translation of y equals f of x. Translation of y equals f of x, again, by the vector. But this time, our vector is obviously different. In this case, and like we see from this example here, this will be minus a, 0. Now, this can triple a lot of people up. So we have to be slightly careful. So if this is f of x plus 2, for example, that means we go two units to the left, so minus 2. If that was f of x minus 3, that would mean we go three units to the right. So it's minus, minus 3, so it becomes three units to the right. Okay, so just be careful for that. It's very easy to kind of trip up with that. Um, but that's the two translations that we need for transformations of graphs. Let's take a look at stretches now. Taking a look at stretches, now we have two different examples here. So if we start with this one at the top, this is a stretch of the form y equals a f of x. Now, like we said, this is a stretch, so we talk about a scale factor. So we're stretching here the graph y equals f of x by a scale factor. So let's just um, denote that below. So a stretch of the original graph, which is y equals f of x, y equals f of x. And like we said, now this is by a scale factor rather than a vector. So by scale factor, which I'm going to abbreviate as s dot f. And in this case, the scale factor will be this constant here, a. Okay, so this is by a scale factor of a. And we say this is now in the vertical direction. Okay, in vertical direction. And we can see with this diagram here that this kind of represents this. So this black curve here is y equals f of x. And then my curve in blue, just use a blue pen to represent this. This is y equals 2f of x. Okay. Like so. Okay, so that's our first stretch. Let's take a look at the last one here. Going back to our original pen color. And what this is a stretch of is y equals f ax. Okay, so a stretch of this form. So this is a stretch of the graph y equals f of x, again, by a scale factor, and the scale factor in this case is 1 over a. Okay, so let's just write this below. So a stretch, the original curve y equals f of x, again, by a scale factor, again, which I'm going to abbreviate as s dot f. And in this case, our scale factor, like we said, it is 1 over a. Okay, so by a scale factor of 1 over a there. And this time, this isn't in the vertical direction, but rather in the horizontal direction. Okay, so in the horizontal direction. And there we have it. So again, this black curve here is y equals f of x. And if I go to my blue pen here, then this blue curve is y equals f of 2x there. Okay. 
And there we have it. So that's all the transformations of graphs that we need to be aware of. What you'll often see is in a lot of the A-level math type questions, it's usually a combination of these transformations. So that is something that you will need to practice and become familiar with. But you'll see um, an example or two of that in the next video. So like I said, that brings us to the end of this video. In the next video, we're going to take a look at exam revision for graphs and transformations.